What's up guys, it's King Josh back with another video and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to make this Stephen Curry build. So before this video starts, make sure to drop a like and let's get right into the video. For the position on this build, you do want to go point guard just like Steph Curry. Then for the pie chart, you're going to actually want to scroll down a little bit until you go to the pie chart where there's half green and half yellow because you want it to be half shooting and half playmaking. For the physical pie chart, you guys want to choose the top one so you can be as fast as possible. And that's pretty much the pie chart you want to choose on most guard builds. So now for the attributes, you want to max out your driving layup. For your shooting, you want to max out everything and then you can drop your post fade by 5 so you have extra attribute points. For your playmaking, you want to max out everything except for post moves. And then for your defense, max out everything except offensive rebound. At the very end, you just want to put that up until you get 10 defensive badges. And once you're done upgrading your defense, you're going to have two remaining attribute points. You can put that anywhere, but I think it's best to put it at dunk so you get a little bit of dunk animations here and there. Or if you really want to, if you want to get more dunk animations, you can take some off of your offensive rebound until you get 9 defensive badges because 9 and 10 are pretty much the same thing. And then you can put that to your driving dunk so your player dunks even more. But I would go with 10 defensive badges just because in NBA 2K20, defense was the meta. So this is the way I would make the build. But if you really want to, you can be fine with anywhere between 5 and 10 defensive badges. So if you really wanted to, you could drop your badges down to 5 for defense and then put the rest of your attributes to your finishing. Once you get to the height, there are actually two different ways you can go. So if you guys want lockdown takeover on this build, you do want to go six foot three for the weight you want to go anywhere between 171 and 173 it doesn't really matter just make sure you don't do minimum because if you go up by one to three you do get an extra strength so go 171 to 173 on the weight and then for the wingspan you want to go up as much as you can to where you still have 86 ball control so i'm pretty sure it's up four ticks as you can see you can go up a lot and your defense will be a lot better and you'll still be able to speed boost because you will have 86 ball control and your three does drop by three but you'll still be able to shoot with all the badges that you get and then as you guys can see if you do make your wingspan this long you will get lockdown takeover and i know this is a steph curry build so lockdown takeover really isn't his thing but it does make the build a lot more versatile in my opinion but if you want to make this even more like steph curry and go sharp takeover you actually want to change the height so instead of six foot three you are going to want to be six foot four and then for the weight just go 176 go one up from the minimum because your post moves does go up by one and then for the wingspan, you want to put it down until you have 86 ball control. You want to have the longest possible, but obviously you also want 86 ball control. So just put it down. Once you see 86 ball control, stop moving your wingspan. And there you go. As you can see, look at the takeovers, you get sharp takeover. So 6-4 is better if you're going to choose sharp takeover, I think. 6-4 is probably the better build. But if you do want that lock takeover, you are going to want to go 6-3 and put your wingspan up a good amount. And if you take a look at the build, as you guys can see, it is called a playmaking shot creator. And it has shades of Stephen Curry, Kyrie Irving, and for some reason, Kirk Heinrich. But anyway, let's not worry about that let's get right into the badges so on this build it only has one finishing badge you're probably going to either choose acrobat fancy footwork or slithery finisher those are one of the three badges i would go with you can't really go wrong either way so that's really preference there personally i would probably go slithery finisher i think that's the best out of the three for this play style because you are going to be taking a lot of open layups and slithery finisher just makes your layups even more open now going on to the shooting badges you want catch and shoot hall of fame dead eye hall of fame Hot 100 Hall of Fame, Range Extender Hall of Fame, and then Green Machine Hall of Fame. I think those are probably the best out of these badges. And then if bronze badges are really good, like they were in 2K20, you probably also want to go with Corner Specialist Bronze. And then with your other badges, it's really up to you. I would go Corner Specialist Bronze, probably Difficult Shots Gold, and then Volume Shooter or Tireless Shooter Bronze. After playing a few games, it seems like the stamina is a little bit worse than NBA 2K20, so Tireless Shooter is probably going to be better than Volume Shooter. So this is the badge setup I would run for now. Now going on to Playmaking Badges, you want Bailout Hall of Fame, Handles for Days Hall of Fame, Quick First Step Hall of Fame, and Unpluckable Hall of Fame. Those are the necessities. And then with the rest of my badges, I would go with Space Creator Silver, Lob City Passer Bronze, Dimer Hall of Fame, and then Needle Threader Bronze. But you could also take off Needle Threader or any of these other non necessity badges you could try out ankle breaker and floor general those are also really good badges and then i think tight handles might be good because in the beginning of nba 2k20 it was good and then they kind of patched it so it wasn't as good so with that badge i guess we gotta wait to see when the game drops but for the defensive badges you guys want clamps gold for sure and then intimidator at least silver maybe even gold those are the necessities and then for the rest of my badges i would probably go taste on artist bronze rim protector bronze no higher than bronze and then pogo stick silver but if you don't want pogo stick you probably want to put chase on artist silver and then either pick dodger pickpocket or interceptor i think interceptor is the best out of those three bronze badges i just named so i would run either a setup like this or lower chase down artist down to bronze take off interceptor and put pogo stick silver that's probably the best way to go when it comes to defensive badges if you guys have any questions about this build make sure to drop a comment i read all my comments also make sure to subscribe to the channel if you're new we're on the road to 8k but anyway that's it for the video thank you guys so much for watching it's been king josh and i'm out peace